I honestly feel like I look like I'm gonna work in a lab today. <laughs> Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel today for a new video. Kind of the third part in the series, but the first two were about clothing that I regretted buying, and this is clothing that I didn't regret buying, or don't regret buying. Basically, in the past couple of videos, if you've not seen them, um, I would go through pieces from my wardrobe that I've probably only worn once or twice, and are probably not worth that hefty price tag. Um, but in today's video, I'm going to walk you through some pieces from my wardrobe that I wear all the time and can safely say that I'm very happy um, that I purchased them and even if they they go from expensive pieces to more inexpensive pieces but I'm just happy with them either way so yeah I thought it'd be an interesting contrast to the last two videos where I just kind of complained a lot um, but this one I'm not gonna be complaining at all um, this is a shirt from cold laundry I do have a video coming up on cold laundry very very soon because I know that a lot of you guys are very interested in that new brand. From the pieces coming up, there are some items that I've bought with my own money or pieces that I've been gifted from certain places. If it is gifted, I will tell you that it was gifted to me and it wasn't gifted to me like for this video. It was gifted to me a long time ago, but I deem it as one of the pieces that I think is worth the money that it costs um, because I've used it so, so much. Um, so these are basically just like products that I wear all the time and that I think are great. Now, the state of these is gonna upset some people because they are extremely, extremely dirty, but I wear them all the time. I wore them to festivals over summer. I've worn them to gigs. I wore them to James Bond's Secret Cinema a few weeks ago. If I buy something, I spend a lot of money on it. I'm gonna wear it. Obviously, I take care of it as well, but I might not clean it that often. <laughs> is the Dior high top sneakers um, from the spring summer 19 collection. The first collection that was from Kim Jones um, at Dior and these are an insane iconic beautiful piece they did have a hefty price tag of around 700 pounds I ended up sizing down because that's the only size they had left in stock because these were really hard to get a hold of at one point they're 42 and a half and I'm usually at 43 I'm surprised honestly that they've lasted this long because um, the material on them is kind of like scratchy I don't even know what you would call it. It's like a very, very thin material. And they basically just look like Converse, but they are so, so nice to wear. Um, I find them really, really comfortable. And yeah, they did cost a lot of money, but I'm so glad that I bought them because I've worn these to death and I'm still gonna continue to wear them. Um, but yeah, so the first thing that I don't regret buying is the Dior sneakers. Next up, now there's two of these. Um, I don't actually rave and talk about these that often, but since I bought them, I've worn them so so much and it is two one in each colorway acne studios t-shirts i don't can't remember the official name of this particular style of t-shirt but i will leave links to everything in the description box below and i purchased these from matches fashion they're just like two boxy oversized t-shirts i got one in black and one in white there is a bit of fake tan on the white one apologies but yeah since and that means an iron this was about to go in the wash but i just pulled it out quickly for this video to show you um but two acne studios t-shirts um i think they're around just under 200 pounds each um but honestly like they are such a good quality t-shirt they are quite thick um, which is better for winter. I remember in summer when I would wear it, it would make me sweat like quite a lot because it's quite warm, especially if it's like a hot day outside. Um, but just the cut and the, the texture and how they go with other pieces, they just add like a nice plain element to your outfits, especially if everything else has something going on and you want just like a simple layer. And I find that like the Acne Studios t-shirts, yes, they cost a lot of money, um, but they actually retain their like shape and quality compared to like other fits of t-shirts um, from more like fast fashion places. I just much prefer investing in a longer lasting piece like these Acne Studios t-shirt it's kind of the stuff this is kind of the stuff that's boring to buy you think like oh do i really want to spend 200 pounds on a t-shirt but once you've actually done it and you've worn it so much and you see that the quality is just long lasting um rather than let's say you buy like a 10 pound t-shirt from somewhere um and in a few washes it's kind of lost its shape or it goes a bit thin um or like the fit just like shrinks in the wash so it's just better to invest a little bit more money to buy a piece that will last you a bit longer. Next up, now this is quite a random one. This pair of denim I was gifted from ASOS. I chose them just before me and Scott went to Disneyland Paris with ASOS for the first ever um, gay pride parade at Disneyland. 
um, ASOS took us on a trip there and they let us choose outfits for the trip. So I chose this pair of denim. I didn't actually wear it on the trip. And when I first put them on, I was like, they're a bit high-waisted, they're a wide leg. Um, I don't know if I'll wear these that much. And then when I came back from the trip, I needed a pair of jeans one day and I just put these on and I was like, actually, I can love these. Like these are nice. And then since then I've worn them so much and I think they're on sale right now on ASOS for like under 20 pounds. And I keep looking for them in different colors as well, but they've literally not got them in a different color yet. Um, but I just love the fit of these jeans. And I think cause I have like quite big thighs as well. They still are loose around the thigh. They don't like suction my thigh in, which is really, difficult to find. Um, but yeah, these ASOS, I think they're called like ASOS Design Slim Leg Trousers or something. I'll find them and put them in the description box below, but they are, yeah, they're great. Next up, now I searched high and low for this piece. This was sort of a really hard to find piece at one point. I don't know if it's back in stock on places yet, because obviously once I got it, I then didn't search for it anymore. Um, but I think it's come back in stock a few times on different sites. But it's the Balenciaga BB belt. Um, I ended up getting it from the women's section at Essence. Um, and I had to just like double check all the measurements before I got it and made sure that it would fit me. This is a great addition to your wardrobe. Basically because you can wear like plain black trousers and a plain black t-shirt and wrap this belt around and you instantly kind of like elevate your look. Um, it's just nice silver hardware. It doesn't matter if it said BB for Balenciaga or if it was just like a silver kind of pattern anyway. I feel like a nice looking belt buckle just kind of elevates anyone's outfit. Obviously you can get the Balenciaga one if you want to kind of flex a little bit. But I honestly love it. I love the interlocking Bs of the, of the logo and I just think it adds a really nice touch to your outfit. Um, obviously has a purpose as well by keeping your pants up. But I, yeah, very, very happy with this. And since buying it, I've probably worn it five days of the week for every week that I've had it and I got it in summer. So next up, now I get a lot of messages about this all the time. And this was actually gifted to me um, by Flannels in March or April this year. It was before I went to Coachella because um, I was planning on using it at, at Coachella. I really, really wanted a bag that had a strap on the top so you could hold it kind of like that. And I saw this Prada one on flannels and they very, very kindly sent it to me. But honestly, since getting it, it has been my most used crossbody bag for a very, very long time. I just love the shape of it. I love the boxy shape. I love the leather that Prada have used and the silver like heavy buckles. Just give it a really, really nice clean aesthetic kind of vibe. And it's also practical as well. Like you can actually fit so much stuff in here. I can fit like my iPhone XS Mac, a portable charger, house keys, a wallet, jewelry, whatever you really need like running on holiday, my passport. Um, it fits everything inside it and it's just so practical and so convenient as well. It has a little secret back pocket as well, which a lot of people don't always see. This is like a funny ha-ha one, but I've literally bought this in so many different colours now. And it is the Stan Beanie from Weekday. It is £8 and I literally have worn this to death the past few winters, um, especially recently. It's like just about to go a bit cold here in London and I'm like, Beanie every day, Beanie every day. Well, I'm embarrassing. So um, yeah, I think that is just an excellent, excellent buy. And last but not least is the Balenciaga track runners. Um, I purchased these. I've had a few pairs of these now. I had these in the orange and white colorway, which I eventually sold. I got them in the black colorway, the white colorway, the new V2s in two different colors as well. So it's no surprise that I'm a fan of this sneaker. A clean white sneaker goes with like any look and these, you know I love a chunky sneaker. So I think these are just perfect. And although again, they have a hefty price tag of like 595, they've just served me so well so far. And I know that I'm gonna to continue to wear them into the winter season and probably next summer as well. So they are products that I don't regret buying. You can see a little bit of a theme running through the products that I don't regret buying. And they're all kind of like monochrome. They all kind of can be worn with each other and interchangeable. They're not any like loud colors um, or like crazy patterns, which you can kind of see from my past videos that the pieces that I have regretted buying are more of those kind of like trend led kind of pieces from luxury places. But then again, most of these are from luxury places as well. But I think my money was like better invested in certain pieces that would last longer in my wardrobe. 
Anyway, that's a massive discussion we could get into at another time. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on all these um, pieces in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any other video suggestions that have sparked from seeing this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.